Hello beautiful people, my name is Famila, also known as the Ninja Chef in UK. Let's go ahead and prepare a goosey. First, I'm going to boil my meat, adding enough onion, salt and seasoning cube. Give it a good stir and let it boil. Here is the pepper mix. I'm going to roughly blend and this is what it looks like. So guys, while your meat is boiling and it is almost done, Get your bomo, wash, and then you add it into the pot of boiling meat. This is to soften the bomo and to make it soak up some juice. Guys, this bomo is going to be very tasty. I have some dry fish. I'm going to soak this up in hot water to wash and soften it. And these are my ingredients to cook this egg goosey. So now you're going to eat up a pot, add in your palm oil. Next, you're going with your chopped onions and then you add in your locust paint also known as iru give this a good stay and let it release its flavor next you're going to add in your pepper mix and after you do this you go ahead to season your pepper mix yes and you get your ground eggsy Add in your meat stock and warm water also to form a paste. Ensure it is not so runny. Ensure it is a bit thick. Thank you for watching my videos, guys. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. And to my old subscriber, thank you for always coming back to watch my video. So now, once this is done, you add your meat stock into the cooking sauce. Just so you have a little bit of water to cook up the egusi. Now you're going to add the egusi in bit into this stew and let it cook. Can you see that this is where you determine if you want it lumpy or not? I don't want it lumpy. So you have it in big size and then you cover this up to cook. Once it is cooked, you give this a good stir. Can you see that? Ensure you give this a good stay and this is what you have. So after this is done, you go ahead to add in your protein, any rishi rishi that you have at this point. This is the stage to add it. Your meat, your pomo, this is shake, this is the dry fish, any rishi rishi. Add this at this stage, give it a good stay and now you add in water to cook this. So once you, this is where you dictate how thick you want your egusi to look like. But the truth is, whatever, whatever consistency you want, egusi tends to thicken up after being cooked. So ensure you cook it a little bit, a little bit watery. Yeah. So I just love my egusi, not so thick and not too runny. So I've just added water. I'm going to cover this to cook. And this is what you have. And now you're going to add in your crayfish. Can you see how generous I am with it? I've always said if you need to use less maggi and salt, add in enough crayfish. I don't know what happened to this video. I think I omitted where I added salt. So guys, I did add salt to this food. I gave it a good stir. And then you cover to cook basically your egusi is ready i won't lie to you so ensure that this is well cooked before you add in your vegetables because your vegetables is just supposed to cook for about two or three minutes maximum to get the correct vitamins from it so i've just added in ugu leaves if you like adding any type of leaf you have be it uziza be it bitter leaf and do this to your preference i just wanted a little bit of the leaves i don't want the leaves to dominate exactly as you can see so you give this a good stir let it cook for about two or three minutes and your premium egosi soup is ready as you can see in this video so guys ensure to adjust for seasoning taste this but your soup is basically ready at this stage yes i'm just trying to cook it up for about two or three minutes and that's it i can pair this with any swallow of choice and even rice i pair this with palm do yam that's my choice thank you for watching this video remember to like and share please subscribe